Yeah, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Um, we are uh, we're moving this to Pensacola, and it's gonna um, it's gonna be refurbished there, and it's gonna be put on display for the uh, new bridge they're building uh, for the General Chappie Foundation. So we're with the American well, Legion. We're with, we the American, it we're with the American Legion. It was yeah, it was our decision to get rid of it. Yeah. It was getting to be we can't afford it. I mean, the, the maintenance and the American Legion. Our average age is probably 65. We can't climb on planes anymore like we used to. And it's going to a good home. The sons of the American Legion my recollection were the ringleaders of getting this here. Uh, they paid a gentleman a sum to bring it from Mothball to here. Uh, they brought it here in pieces. Volunteers, uh, Gary Boyd, uh, Bob Crider was the adjutant at the time. Uh, several volunteers put it all back together. Uh, my sons and I came here every afternoon after work and school and just put the hundreds of screws back together. Now, the claim to fame for the plane is it was a chase plane for, for NASA back in the, when they had the Apollo missions and they dropped the capsules in the water. This plane actually chased those capsules and it's pinpointed where they were at in the water. And it's one of the few, few F-4s that are still around that has the uh, refueling nozzle on the nose cone. And also it a, has a tail hook on it to uh, land on carriers. Most Air Force planes don't don't have that equipment. So it's been a pleasure to have it out here though. Bring it down? Yes. Get it down. down. This is the end of a historic era. This F4 has been a landmark out here for several years. A lot of people have took pictures with it. It's going to be in Pensacola at a bridge that's being named after Captain Benjamin O. Davis, the first black general of the Air Force. So we feel honored that the plane is going down there. General Davis actually flew in Air Force during his career. That's why they wanted this F-4, because that was the plane that he flew during his tenure in the service. Well, they've been out here seven days taking this apart. It has not gone smoothly, and Tennessee weather has not cooperated with the gentleman from Pensacola 86 degrees in our warm weather of 50. They it's were out here 30s. working hard yeah. in 50 degree weather. <laughs> they did a good so job. I appreciate their dedication because I wasn't out here eight hours and I was cold after 30 minutes. All three of us are uh, former aircraft mechanics in the Marine Corps. So we, we have kind of a, a background in this. Um, and obviously the trick was to get it to separate from the wing. And uh, we got that to work and, you know, now we're going to put this on one truck and put the wing on, a, on the other truck and take it down to Pensacola, put it back together. We put it back together on Friday, so tomorrow. I mean, it's been sitting here for 25, 30 years is what they say, so the corrosion and all that stuff, you know, uh, just some, didn't, sometimes stuff don't want to cooperate, but eventually it gets there. We're going to miss our guy that's flying it because he's going to Pensacola with him. Couldn't get him out the cockpit, so it's an end of ever kind of. This F-4 leaving, we've had ceremonies out here at the plane in years past and whatnot, and a lot of people took pictures, and they'll remember it. <laughs>